All right, guys, so I am uh, driving down the road here, about to go over here to this uh, Goodwill. Gonna see if I can find something in here. I only come over to this location every so often. Every once in a while, I'll find something that's any good, but <sighs> I've only found a few things here. Found my uh, Dreamcast actually at this location. So I'm hoping that I'll have some good luck here. Let's go in and find out. We'll see. What do they got? All right, guys, so here we are inside the store here. Trying to find some games or something good to flip. Charm. Complete first season, still sealed. Probably not worth nothing. Let's see what I can find. All movies. Movies still. What's this? Double Dragon. Don't have that. Definitely pick that up. Scooby Doo, Night of 100 Frights. Hmm. Okay. Namco Museum. Hmm. Ace Combat 5. Wow, it's like the prices are different now. They used to just be totally five bucks. Some of these have two on them. That's cool. Guncon guns here at Goodwill today for about eight bucks. Anybody interested in these? Nice stop. Hey guys, so welcome back to an all new episode. And today, I've got a, some pretty cool things that I want to show you. Got a big time heavy hitter just came in the package in the mail today. So you don't want to miss this episode. This is not the episode a bad company finds to miss. So, without further delay, I'm going to show you this package. It came. A big time heavy hitter. I'm very glad to have this in the collection. This is without a doubt the rarest PlayStation 3 title that there is. Here you go. Class of Heroes 2G. Very excited to have this in the collection. This is actually made by, uh, I don't know if you can see it right here, this is Gadget Works, which is uh, what um, Working Designs ended up becoming. The uh, head guy, Victor Ireland, heads up uh, Gadget Works. Um, I guess you can tell it's an RPG. Um, on the back here it says select NPCs can now join your exploration parties. Dual screen play with portable PlayStation platforms. Rain and snow can now fall in outdoor labyrinths. More monsters and all new labyrinth maps. Okay, so there's a disc. Oh, very nice. Nice minty. Big full colored manual. Some of the case artwork there. Got a very good deal on this. Paid $60. Very good. 
This game easily goes for 90 or, 90 or more for it. So, I got a steal on this. So I jumped on it. Alright, so, I got a ton of Wii titles that I picked up recently. I got uh, Miramasa, the Demon Blade. Next up, I got uh, Sheer and the Wonder, an Atlas title. Atlas! Uh huh. Actually, got this in my uh, Wii U right now. I've been playing it. Got uh, Laura Croft Tomb Raider Anniversary. Dead Space Extraction. Resident Evil, The Umbrella Chronicles. Which I think I'm going to enjoy this because it's a uh, on-rail shooter, kind of like that Dead Space Extraction is. Which I think I will enjoy. Okay, the rest of these titles I got in a, a bundle at a yard sale. Uh, probably paid more than I want to pay for them, but I wasn't going to pass them up, so I decided to get them. Ten titles here. Paid $25 for all ten of these, so that's $250 each. Not too bad. Uh, first up, I got Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz. Must say, all the uh, cases and everything were nasty. I guess some kids had them. So I was expecting the uh, disc to be like probably scratched up and stuff. Every single one of these discs are minty. No scratches at all. Had to clean them up though. So yeah, there's the manual. Got uh, DreamWorks Shrek Forever After. Nothing sexy there, but... Sonic and the Secret Rings, I've actually heard it's pretty good. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. Rayman, Raven, Rabbids, uh, TV. Rayman, Raven, Rabbids. Rayman, Raven, Rabbids 2. Rabbids Go Home, a comedy adventure. And the last Wii title was Jane Cameron's Avatar the Game. Refreshment time. Sweet tea with some lemon. Oh yeah. Found this at a uh, Goodwill. Paid $2.92 for it. Too bad the case wasn't in here. Been wanting this double dragon for the master system. For some reason, I remember it being the uh, better version of the double dragon versus the NES. Found this at Goodwill. Paid $5 for this uh, puzzle quest. I love puzzle games, so I thought this might be pretty cool. It's got a story mode on it and everything, so thought it might be fun. Found this at Goodwill for $2.92, Tom and Jerry and a house party.
Thank you, Hav, for telling me about this. I found this at Walmart, brand new for $9, Rumbo. Whenever I can find some Wii U titles, I pick them up. Whenever I can find them for cheap. Alright, some more sexy games. I found that a second in Charles the other day. I got a record of a Gears War. It's an Xbox 360 exclusive. I wish they all the Xbox or PlayStation would always put exclusive up here so it's easier to find. I had to do some research and found out that the uh, first one only got released on the 360. Um, Record of Agaris War 2 was released on PlayStation 3 and Record of Agaris War 0 was also on PlayStation 3. So it was cool and excited to find this and add to the collection. Paid ten dollars for it. Found this at uh, Second and Charles as well. Operation Darkness, which is an Atlas title that I've never heard of. Plus well, a 360 exclusive, because I'm trying to uh, get all the exclusive for this 360 and the original Xbox. Paid eleven dollars for it. Got this at a uh, yard sale to human, another 360 exclusive. Found this at an indoor flea market that I'd never visited, but it's the only one game that I found there that time. I got uh, Ninja Gaiden, which is also an Xbox exclusive. Paid $5 for it. Second and Charles went also got record of a Garrist War. Found Cold Fear. This is also a uh, released on PlayStation 2, but I've heard that the Xbox version is actually better because it runs on the same uh, Doom engine when they made Doom. So graphics and everything are better on Xbox is from what I've been told. Found this also at Second Charles that same trip. Got the uh, PlayStation 2 River King A Wonderful Journey. As almost drop it. Pay nine dollars for it with the manual. Also got PlayStation 2 Scaler. Found at Goodwill for five. With the manual. And at another Goodwill I found PlayStation 2 Greatest Hits Scooby Doo. Night of 100 Fright. 100 Frights, yeah. Heard these are really good games. Never played it, but it might be fun. Really got into loving platforming type games. I used to not enjoy them. But uh, Shantae and the uh, Sly Cooper games really got me interested in platform games. So I've been trying to uh, pick up as many as I can. Something different than just playing nothing but RPGs, even though I do love puzzle games. But, yeah, anyways, um, coming up on another episode. We've got a very big heavy hitter coming up. I'm excited to show you this one coming up. Excited as I was to uh, show you, um, actually, Class of Heroes 2G. I can't believe I got this in my collection. I once one game I thought I'd probably never have because it goes for well over a hundred dollars. If you look for it on eBay, you'll see it. Very, very excited to uh, have this in the collection. 
But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.